Remember the classic episode of Mr. B, where he met a man at a bus stop and the man started to have a cardiac arrest? Emergency conditions like that can happen anywhere. We need to know how to provide basic life support in case we are nearby when the unfortunate event happens. Follow these steps in a swift and precise manner because somebody's life is maybe on the line. First, before engaging in any action, make sure that yourself, the victim, and the surroundings are safe from any harm. Next, go to the side of the victim, put your hand on his shoulder, shake gently, and yell, Is everything all right? If he does not respond, put your hand on his forehead and another on his chin. Adjust your hand so his head tilts backwards and the airways become clear. Then, look with your eyes, listen with your ears, and feel with your skin whether he is breathing or not, for 10 seconds at most. If he barely breathes or has infrequent and disturbed gasps, it is not normal. Have yourself or a nearby person call the ambulance or emergency service, which differs in each country. While waiting, we shall continue to the next step. Place the victim in a supine or face-up position, on a firm and flat surface. Kneel beside his chest. Put your palm on top of the other, interlock the fingers, and place them on the middle of the sternum of the chest bone. Position your shoulders directly over your hands. Keep your arms straight, lock your elbows, and press the chest hard to a depth of 5-6 to six centimeters. Then allow for full chest recoil. Do the compression more than once in every second or from 100 to 120 times per minute, continuously until help arrives. Keep pumping without interruption, unless you are trained in CPR before, in which case, promptly proceed to give rescue breathing. Tilt the victim's head, just like the first step again, but this time, let his mouth open, pinch the soft part of the nose, inhale as usual, put your mouth on his mouth, without letting any air pass, and breathe out inside his mouth for one second. Exhaled air still contains 17% oxygen that can help manage the oxygen-deprived cells. Stop and watch the chest deflate after you breathe, and do it again for the second time. Then, immediately resume the chest compression. Remember, do not let the chest compression stop for more than 10 seconds. Do the sequence of 30 chest compressions followed by two rescue breathings. If a nearby AED device is available, have a person set up the device while another continues to deliver chest compression. Place the AED pads just below the collarbone and on the lower left side of the chest. Wait for the heart rhythm analysis to complete for further instruction. If a shock is needed, do not let anybody touch the victim or they will risk a thousand volt shock. Once all cleared, deliver the shock. If no further shock is needed, directly resume the chest compression and rescue breathing. If you are tired and medics are still on their way, switch with other people nearby, because the compression from a tired person may not be effective. If the victim starts breathing normally, even if still unresponsive, put him in the recovery position by lying on one side and put the other side's hand below his head. Place the upper knee on the ground to prevent him from rolling over. As the medics arrive to help, be proud that you have done your best to save his life, no matter what the result is.